Okay, we're going to need a uh, some type of toy helicopter that has a movable blade on top. This one's about a dollar something if you want to go to um, Dollar Tree, Dollar General somewhere, some type of 99 cent store and find some type of cheap toy that has a a propeller that moves and just going to disassemble that. This one is about uh, six inches long. Just some cheap piece of toy there. What we're going to do is we're going to salvage some motors here. This one came out of a uh, VCR. This one came out of a toothbrush. This one's too small. Need one about this size. something close to it with the um, <coughs> plastic stem on it so you can have room to put a screw in there now on this on these helicopters we have um, the propeller part this part here that holds the propellers on here it needs to be able you need to be able to drill a hole <coughs> straight through here just take your drill and set this on the table and drill this hole all the way through. I have a small drywall screw, like about an inch drywall screw here. I'm gonna make sure that fits. That's gonna go on top and stay in place. Look like that will. This needs to be the screw all the way down through here and then to the top of this plastic that's on top of the battery. It needs to be free moving. You need to be able to move freely. You're going to need a um, thread bobbin. Um, plastic will do it fine also. I'm going to need a small washer here. So this screw, the washer is going to go on the top of the screw like that. I'm going to take your bobbin, the screw is going to slide through the bobbin. I'm going to take another washer slide that under the bobbin, the screw. So you have a washer, bobbin, and another washer. I'm going to take a paper clip and open it up. I'm going to take that. I'm going to slide, open it up and slide it through the hole on the bobbin. One on one side, just going to make it even. And pull it through like this. So that's, that's hanging. I'm going to set that down right now. That's how it should look. You see that? Then we're going to take a motor and some wire here. Pop this off. Looks like about nine inches of wire. I'm going to take this toy helicopter part, this part. I'm going to take the motor and try to center it in the middle. First, we need to move some stuff. If it doesn't fit inside, start moving clearing some stuff out. We got these attachment stems and so I'm just going to pop, twist those off. If you have this problem, because the motor needs to fit in the middle. This one. Take some needle nose plier then just twist that off. And then 
the same thing with the other side here. Have a pinch and twist. And that's out. Okay. It's going to take and set the motor center. Try to fit it in there. Make sure your wires are attached to the bottom of the motor. It's supposed to tape on there. Your nine inch wires, one on one side, one on the other side, and let's take some tape and attach that. Then take and set your motor inside the chopper body. Make sure nothing's touching. This is not touching, so it, it spins freely. I'm going to take the other side, the um, chopper up, putting the motor inside. I'm going to take some of the packing tape. Put one on the front just to hold this closed. On the front and one on the rear. You ch keep checking to make sure that your motor spins and that it's straight up and down. I'm going to take our wires and run them out the back like that. Just sticking out the rear. Some more packing tape and close up the rear. Now, this particular chopper already has holes in it, so we're just going to take our wire, take your wire, and cut a piece off. I need about a um, let's measure this. Close about nine inches, about nine inches long. Just gonna take and bend it in half like that. Then we're gonna tur take and curve out the edges like I got here. They're pointing outward. And if you don't have any holes, you can punch your holes here into the side of the plastic. Gonna slide that inside the hole. If you don't have it, just punch it some holes. Back off and slide the other end. Just want to slide it inside the tail. But it should look something like this when you're done. But one came out. Let's try this again. Slide that in. You get them both in place. I'm just going to kind of wedge these inside. So it should look something like that when you're done. Make sure it's centered. Try to get your tail to be in the center. This is trying to give me some problems. Let's see if I can bend it up. I think I got one up further than the other. Let's back off here. This one's further. Make sure it's even. <coughs> Make sure it's going in the same hole on both. So I think it be even here. <coughs> okay. Um, should be looking like that when you're done. Let's try to punch our holes in the side and get this to mount evenly off the tail. That's where we're going to mount our battery. <coughs> We're going to take our 9 volt battery and attach it to the back with the contacts facing out. So we're going to slide this back just a little. I think I'm going to, let's see, this might work. Take some more tape. I'm 
I'm going to wrap the battery up to the wire. Just like this. You can smash this into place. So the battery should be hanging off the tail like that. So you got your motor in place, you got it taped together. You got your wire um, extending to the side of the tail. And your battery hanging off the back, so it should look something like that when you're done. 